everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hi, my name's Trish. I make videos every week, so feel free to hit that subscribe button down below. Today, I thought I'd do a little kind of post-grad life update. So if you didn't know already, I attended Gonzaga University and I graduated with a bachelor's in business administration with a concentration in marketing and minors in communications and digital marketing. I'm really glad I graduated from Gonzaga. It's a PWI and I just really needed a lot of diversity in my experience and I didn't really get that as a college experience at a PWI. So when we got sent back home last year in March, I was actually really excited because I was really yearning for the environment back at home where I could be in a Filipino household with my parents, my brother, and my grandmother. And it's been a really a great time to be in such a cultural household where when I was in Gonzaga, I couldn't really speak Tagalog with anyone. And it was just a very isolating experience. And I definitely had my most densest, darkest moments at Gonzaga University and I know I'm not the only person of color or student of color who's had that experience at GU and I definitely know I won't be the last. That is something I wish I could have improved on at my time at Gonzaga or not even I could have improved on but the institution definitely could have improved on in facilitating and cultivating an environment that really cares about the growth and development and the belonging of their students of color. But my highlight at Gonzaga was definitely studying abroad in the Philippines. I did get to go to Ateneo de Manila University and that is in Quezon City, Philippines. And I was there for a marketing venture program during the summer session. I just absolutely loved that my time there, although it was short compared to other semesters. I got to really be immersed in my culture, but also at the same time encounter different things that I wouldn't have been able to get here in Gonzaga. So I'm going to get into a little on like my future plans, kind of where I am at, but currently I am living at home. But in the future, I do plan on moving to Vancouver, BC. If you don't know, I am also Canadian and I would just love to go back to Vancouver because that place is, I consider home for me. I'm not really attracted to moving to places like LA or New York City. I kind of really want to focus on myself and be in an environment where I have a lot of family around me and be in a community where I already have some friends to kind of support me and help me grow and create a bigger friend group or friend network. And I just feel like Vancouver is definitely gonna be that place for me. And in terms of arts and creativity and like pursuing YouTube, I definitely see Vancouver as being a hub for that. New York and LA are amazing for, you know, social media influencers. But I, I like to think Vancouver as like a little pocket or like little Pacific Northwest version of Los Angeles. I'm like really excited to live in Vancouver in about two years. So I also wanted to touch on mental health and how it plays such an incredible role in my post-grad life and being a 22 year old. And now as a 22 year old, I'm really realizing kind of all the responsibilities, all the things I really need to get done as an adult. And it's kind of moving really, really fast. I think that is why I prioritize mental health so much in my life because it's helps me really ground myself and help me do the responsibilities I need to do as an adult. I feel like if I didn't focus on my mental health or go to therapy or really understand my triggers, I would just be a very unpleasant person to be around. I've been working a lot on like my shadow self, recognizing my triggers, seeing areas where I tend to be more irritable. I realized all those things stem from trauma and I've suffered a lot in the past with anxiety, depression and life intrusive thoughts and at this point of my life honestly i have so much more perspective you know what they say hindsight is 2020 and i'm no longer trying to find the cause or the reason of why people in my past may have hurt me or have mistreated me or abused me and i know for myself i would just go crazy constantly having to replay that narrative 
my mind trying to figure out what went wrong take the lesson leave the story leave the narrative because our egos like to think that those stories will define who we are as human beings it honestly can be really unhealthy to hold on to the stories because you believe those stories as fact or truth and you carry it on into your future endeavors relationships and friendships so it's really important to let go of that pattern or let go of that story so you can bring space into these new relationships that you're cultivating and creating with new people. The next thing I want to talk about as a new graduate is this idea of comparison. And let me say it louder for y'all, comparison is the theft of joy. And you deserve all the joy you can get from this world. And by comparing yourself, you're literally just depriving yourself from accessing joy. I realized in my past, the judgment I would have for others is truly like a reflection of my own insecurities. As I started to interrogate myself, I realized that I was not showing up for myself from a place of love. As a result, I was not showing up for others from a place of love. And I mean that in a way that I was so critical of other people because I was so critical of myself. As I continue to show up for myself from a place of love more often, I can start extending compassion towards myself and compassion towards others. The same way I can start forgiving myself, the more I can forgive others. That is such a liberating feeling. All right, so I'm gonna get into how I feel about a nine to five and like my career moving forward. So I do have a full-time job lined up for me and I'm starting Monday. I'm gonna be working as a digital sales rep on a digital sales team for a tech company called F5. I worked for them last year during my summer internship and I'm just really grateful to have had the opportunity to work with them again. Committing to this job will be a lot of work and will be a lot of time. And I also really like the predictability of this nine to five job. I feel like when I was in university, my schedule was really to the will of other people. Meaning that if I was in a group project, other people had different jobs, other different family matters that they had to attend to. So that really meant like working around each other's schedules. Versus when I'm having this 9 to 5, I know that within that 9 to 5 time frame, I should try to schedule time with other people. So I really do appreciate the predictability of a schedule um, with my 9 to 5 which is why I feel like I can be able to dedicate more time to my YouTube because I feel like I will be editing most of my videos at night and filming more on the weekends. So that gets me into the next portion of this video, kind of the future of this channel, my other online social media pursuits. So I'll definitely continue to be making more videos on this channel. I want to upload weekly. I want to do more fashion videos, more kind of lifestyle videos, more ad advice videos like this. And then I am also going to be working on a podcast interview series with this digital scene that I am a part of. It's going to be talking about shame and overcoming shame and like truly embracing who we are and reclaiming our sovereignty and reclaiming who we are as individuals and just really growing out of that shame. Another great thing about like post-grad life is kind of having this time to pursue your creative pursuits and for me it's summertime. I freaking love the summer. I associate summer with DIYs. Definitely gonna be painting more this summer, creating my own necklace. I do not make this. Um, and bracelets and clay rings because I just feel like 2021 we're bringing back that Y2K DIY vibe and I'm here for it. I want to do more thrift flip. I want to just dabble with my hands because why not? Why not? Well, that concludes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. But if you guys enjoyed it, let me know down in the comments if you want me to continue making more chatty videos like this. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Have a great night, day, morning, wherever you are. Bye!